I tell conservatives, every time you start to get mad at Trump, close your eyes and think, President Hillary Clinton, you'll get over it, you'll be happier with Trump. I'm Newt Gingrich. Let's sip and skim. Cheers. They're both wheeler dealers. I mean, they're both guys who want to play poker. And they're both saying, let's get to the table and see who wins. So one, let's see if there's a summit. Um, two, my, my guess is that he has reached the conclusion that Trump is serious enough that he will eventually break the North Korean economy and that he will not survive if that happens. I think it's probably two things. How extraordinarily smart he is, because he doesn't behave like he's smart. I mean, it's, it's a style thing. A friend of his who's known him for a quarter century said to me one day, Trump was put on this planet to be an entertainer. He loves entertaining people. Well, entertainers have a whole style that is not a presidential leadership style. Uh, and so I think it's easy to underestimate how really smart he is. The other is uh, he's really methodically determined. Now, I, I tell people on small things, he's absolutely unpredictable and at times I think self-destructive. On big things, you can agree or disagree with him, but he signals what he's doing. The stakes are higher this year than normally because you have in Trump a change agent of enormous proportions. I mean, one of the biggest change agents we've ever seen in the presidency. If, for example, there really was the so-called blue wave and the Democrats managed a huge momentum, that would be a pretty big signal to stop what he's doing. If, on the other hand, the Republicans end up doing better than expected, that's a signal to reinforce what he's doing. I think the two biggest mistakes are to be defeatist. I hear some people say, well, we're going to lose, which I think is nonsense this far out. And in fact, the polls have all shifted back towards the Republicans. The second biggest mistake, ironically, is the opposite. That's to be overconfident. This is going to be a real fight. The left is going to be very energized. They're going to turn out their vote. Uh, they're very deeply committed. Uh, and I think uh, Republicans and conservatives have to be equally committed. Uh, it's, it's, it's like watching, you know, a great sporting event. I mean, both teams are there. Uh, and, and I think if, if you uh, watch somebody like Serena Williams, you know, she plays every single match, period. And she doesn't back off. She doesn't slow down. We have to have that kind of attitude. Be more like Serena.